Good morning everyone. It's still dark outside. It's minus five degrees and we are leaving our little cottage which is behind us and today or this morning we are going to do a snowshoe tour with a guide and he's supposed to bring us to some stunning landscape so let's see how this is going to be. And what's really cool that last night we had a snowstorm. It, uh, I think Marty took some pictures. Maybe we can put them into the vlog so you can see it. I and then, not. what? I did not. Ah, he did not. No. I saw it in front of the restaurant. I made a movie. Okay. It's in the previous one. Okay. So he did not. Anyway, but this means we have like fresh snow, five centimeters, and you can hear it. Also, it makes this beautiful sound when you walk. Kellers, Napoli and Ullas on the south side and Kesenki on the north side. So you can see Kesenki fell over there behind the trees. There's the tree left top and that's our aim to stand on that in two hours. So today we'll start with only uphill. And that's gonna last let's say one and a half to two hours depending on the on the snow condition. We are actually now at the shores of the Kesenki Lake, Kesenki Arvi. Kesenki Lake is obviously frozen, as you can see. And behind there, where you can see the lights, that's the ski slopes of Ullas Fjell. And next to it, I don't remember the name of that fell. But on the left here, you can see the Kesenki Fell which we are going to climb. So we are a small group of uh, six. six, seven people. Seven actually, yeah. And uh, our French friends are there already practicing. And then we have a Russian couple and then we have a guy from Italy. So it's a very multinational group. And of course there's us. Yeah. The name of the tree in English? Mm -hmm. oh. Which one? No. This one. This one. Spruce. Spruce. Cozy. Cozy. That's a, that's a Christmas tree. Uh -huh, Christmas tree, I bet. Yeah. kind of magic. It's beautiful. Actually we didn't expect it's going to be an uphill tour. Yeah, <laughs> going all the way up there. Which goes the one way up there. <sighs> but it's good. Bring some Hard calories. Hard work. <laughs> After the, the lots of eating reindeer and stuff. You get rewarded also with this beautiful view. Here we are in a break and Jakko is preparing wood. So this is how the Finns are doing fire actually. Yes. With a real knife. Knife and you need really good fire wood which is dry. Uh, yeah, can you add the smell in your video? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you. Mmm, yeah, nice smell. Good smell. Yes. So that's going to be our fireplace. Jarko, did we put something in so. the that will uh, yeah, we need heat us up during this little break. <coughs> Moment of truth, yes. 
Is it hot drinks or cold drinks? I think it's hot drinks. Don't, don't. Uh, oh, leak before it drops. Are you struggling with the snow? Yes, it's, uh, I know. Look how much snow we got last, uh, last night when we had the snowstorm. <laughs> it goes all the way to my knees. So. With computers and phones, and, and they forget this physical thing. up on the hill. It's a little bit exhausting, but fun. I hope it's not too windy and you can hear us. A cold wind has come up now, so it's very chilly. And here comes a lonely soul in the ice. So here we are crossing a glacier as a whole. It's a little bit slippery, but fun. So this is the skiing part. So we made it. We have been on the run at least four and a half, if not five hours. So we climbed the mountain and we came back. And often coming down is tougher than going up. And this time there was not much exception on that. So it was a tough ride, but we're happy, happy to be back. So I think it's time to chill. Now we have arrived to this beautiful old Finnish house and look they put some nice decoration here in the snow with real candles it looks so beautiful and here we are going to have a real sauna which is heated with fire if you haven't seen our vlog how to make a real Finnish sauna I put an annotation or info card up here so you can get the link for the how to heat a Finnish sauna and we will have this now and this sauna is supposed to be located next to a lake so we can just jump into there's a hole in the ice and we can jump into the water so it's in this little hut is the smoke sauna so this is actually the from the smoke sauna 
I'm sorry, are you filming? Yeah, you walk to the to the lake. No, don't run because it's slippery and you're naked. <laughs> and here you go in the water. The water is actually warmer than the air. Here is an engine that keeps the water in motion so it doesn't freeze. And you can see here the open area. You, this is the entrance to the main house and you can see it's so cold outside that the windows are frozen. They have ice. So here we go. We are naked. We have really funny shoes. I don't know if you can see it. And now we go to the smoke sauna. So what they do is actually they heat the sauna all day with a fire, keep the windows closed, all the smoke is in the house, and when it's hot enough, after eight hours, they open the window and all the smoke goes out. So here we are inside. I hope the camera is not fogging again when we go inside. Yeah, but So here we are in the sauna. And underneath the stones, they actually make a fire for eight hours with real wood. They heat it from outside and all the smoke goes up here through the stones. And there's no exhaust possibility, it's just a black wall on the ceiling and the smoke stays inside. And when the heat, when the sauna is heated up enough, then they open these little windows, Marty is showing you, so the smoke can escape. This is how it goes. So I'll see you outside. So now we are done with the sauna. And now we will go in the frozen sea and see how cold this will be. So how cold is it? It's cold. <laughs> oh, my feet are so cold. Uh -huh. How does it feel? <laughs> cold. I don't know if you can see all this smoke in here. It's crazy. This is actually humidity. Are you, you think so? Yeah, maybe, yeah. It's maybe from it's us. us steaming. If you ever come to Finland or to Lapland, really try to do this. It's a really cool experience, especially in this climate conditions. And it's so much fun. It's called smoke sauna. It's called smoke sauna. And yeah. in Finnish? Savu sauna. Savu sauna. Yes. So here we have Another set of lapas, which are lapish tapas. <laughs> and they are served on a piece of wood, which is called pare, which was used to cover roofs in the ancient times. And also to use, used to have light in the buildings, because this burns very slowly. So what do you have on your lamp? <laughs> <laughs> fish roe with a fish mousse. Yeah. And archipelago bread. Yes. Okay. And bread, cheese, figs, smoked reindeer in the smoked sauna. Wow. Where we just were. Smoked cheese, another fig, and another cheese. Don't smile. So we found this cool tool, and this is to cut the ice where we just jumped. And you read, need a real man to cut the ice. So you can see how sharp it is. So we had good food and a lot of beer.